we have a few TVs in the doll, as you know, um, and they're all fucking loaded full of money. Um, and you might say, Kevin, people are loaded money, but um, it's actually ridiculous. And again, you have to ask the question, where did they get all the money? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Where did they find all this money? Did they come out of the, come out of the sky or something? Um, but yeah, you probably say it's our hard-earned taxpayer money that's paying them. Um, and they're bloody million, 68 of them out of 160. Are he, uh, actually millionaires, billionaires. Um, 68 out of 160. Think about that for a second. Think that for a second. So Michael Lowry, independent, 7.3 million is the richest. 7.3 million. And you have to ask the question, where did he get all this money? Where did it come from? Richard Burton, 6.2 million. Michael Healy Way and probably the Healy Ways, they have a lot of business. They bloody own Kerry, to be totally honest with you. Um, they own everything in Kerry. Like, literally, they have everything in Kerry. They own everything. They own buses, they own pubs, they own shops. Um, they, own a, they actually own a company that actually Kerry County Council gives contracts to for mending the roads, things like that. And the t shirt owns four properties, isn't that great? Including two family homes. How much do we have to pay for that? Thank you very much, t shirt can we hold them out? Mary Lynn McDonald, uh, Mary Lynn McDonald, one million in homes and two million in wealth. Um, Yes. Right, so we move on to the next list, um, which should be more interesting. So this is the Champagne Socialist now coming up here. Um, Brendan Howland, Labour Party. Labour Party is supposed to represent you and me, the working men of Ireland, the working men and women of Ireland, who get up early every morning to do a bit of hard work. Um, supposed to represent the working class, the working people. And um, when Joe Bond blew it out of the water very quickly. Um, 3.4 million. Champagne Socialist. Point two point oh, um, and then a pe a pension of what seventy six, like nearly a million in the pension, isn't it great? Um, and then also two million so. But this is the other. Is the eight wealthiest TD in Dáil The eight in the same Champagne Socialist, um. Now the next fellow, was atrocious as minister for the uh, minister for the Feds. It is atrocious. I don't know how we even get this amount of money. Um, and especially with the way he treats veterans and things like that. Um, Paul Kyo, a good friend Paul Kyo, that just refused to start any questions. He refused to acknowledge me. <laughs> he won't even talk to me um, because he's afraid of me asking a few hard questions. Um, and we couldn't have that. Um, <laughs> but he's doing very well. He's doing very well. Like, in fairness to him, in fairness to him, I give him credit, Paul. You know where they put your money. You know where, how your money's going. But again, I know some people might say it has nothing to do with TDs around there. But we have to ask questions. They were there because they're getting an out, out, out wages sum of money every day of the week for for being a TD and dollar and being elected by the people you and I, um to represent us and we fucking get nothing in return for them. They just get all the money. Like again, you go there to serve the people. You're not there to make yourself a billionaire. Like we don't vote you in to become a billionaire. You we vote you in to probably inc to make our lives better, to help the local communities, to help our to help our country above all else, um and to serve you and I, the people. Um, we don't elect you. I just couldn't care less. I, I would uh, when I look at the TD, if a TD's going in, I say, are they going to serve the people? They're going to treat the care of people of Calvin fairly, and they're going to do their best for Calvin. I look at that, and I'd be like, what? Do they care about money? Or do they care about where percent? Do they care? Uh, or do, can they be bought? Can they be? If they can be bought, then no use being a TD because it can be bought by anybody. You basically can just be controlled. Um, and I look at that. I look at that. That's what I would look at. I wouldn't care less. About how much, like again, if I was going for TD in the morning or anything like that, I wouldn't give a fuck. I go there because I want to represent the people of Calvin. I couldn't give a fuck. If I got a few bow per foot, I'd be happy enough. But I couldn't give a fuck about money, to be totally honest. I couldn't give a fuck. I'd be delighted that I got in, first of all. I'd be delighted to be very honoured to have the position. Um, But I wouldn't give a fuck about the money. I really wouldn't give a fuck. Like if the bond didn't fuck me, I wouldn't care less. As long as I had a few bob to pay what I needed to pay for, Um, I couldn't care less. And that's to be totally honest with you. But again, a good friend, Paul Kyo, has 2.1 million. Isn't that nice, Paul? 2.1 million. I wonder if that tax, uh, in hell, in hell, in this tax, or anything like that. No. Um, off this, related to an escorted TD's pensions. Pension. Of 1.2 million. A pension of 1.2 million. And not to forget that he sits on the Education Committee... In the houses of the Iraqis, which he's getting paid for too, and expenses and things like that. And again, he's probably getting expenses from going from Wexford to Dublin every day of the week. It's a great country, and he owns a kid land. It's, 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 
it's a great country. Don't you know, it's just a great country. But yeah, let's go down there because, you know, it's I water and some. I don't know. I think they said Hedda Humphreys is worth 5.6 million. Um, which I wouldn't surprise me because Hedda Humphreys has farm and land. He's, she has land and farm. Um, I don't know about Brandon Smith, Neve Smith, or um, uh, who's it? My Pauline Tully, or I don't know about Matt Cowdy. I don't know about that. I haven't heard anything about that. But the Minister for State, Jack, uh, Jack Brown, um, um, is civil servant. Um, he's a, in a half million and 250,000 in pension. Um, like the money here is I want one. Um, Independent TD Phil Phil Murphy is worth three hundred fifty thousand. Jeez, for Christ, and these are only independents and fifty two hundred nearly three hundred thousand. The pension, and that's, that's how much it's going to be when the door when the year comes up in twenty twenty four. How much is that going to be? The millionaires, um, like <laughs> you, you, you really have to ask yourself, where did they get all this money? Did they come out of the blue, um. It's, it's it's crazy it's crazy and they're supposed to represent you and me they're very much out of touch with you and me um, like they're extremely out of touch with you and me I'm sure you would agree but they're out of touch completely with you and me um, like they're hopelessly out of touch with you and me imagine having to go to Park Hill and say that my house I can't afford a house um, I'm, on, I'm basically on the door I have no money to survive. I have three children I have to feed for. My father, my their father died. Um, imagine how imagine how Paul you think Paul Kyo be able to, be able to say you know I can feel for you and things like like how would he be able to say that? like he's, two per three million like again all the TDs I don't know how they could sit there but and how on, um I don't know how he could sit there and listen to the working class man saying about how hard he has to work to try and pay a mortgage. Um I don't know how but and how he can sit there and how he's three point something million. Um and say that and say that he's he's represents the walking men, um and the walking woman at the end of the day, um Labour Party far for the true champion socialists, um it probably has a big house and everything wouldn't you know, but um it's 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 a great country that's that's all I say it's just a great country might as well we all probably would do the same if we got into the door, um but look at it, it's only a big money grab we get into the door you don't represent anybody you just get money for. It. You deal, you just deal, you just deal, you get you get the money for being there. You don't do anything but you deal anyway. Um I don't even want to see what the civil servants and local authorities get. I don't want to see what the chief executives get. I don't want to see it. Um but anyway. Attackers go very well spent. So